Good morning, this is Bill of Power Hungry. Today we're going to show you the proper way to clean the 7.3 liter PCM for the installation of a hydro chip. One of the most common support calls that we get is customers who have installed their chip and the truck won't start. In almost nearly all of these situations, the PCM has not been properly cleaned and there's a connection issue between the uh, hydro chip and the PCM. So today we're going to show you how to properly clean it using the brass toothbrush and the scotch Bright pad and hopefully this will make the installation of the hydro chip a simple and trouble free process for everyone. So we're going to get to the PCM now. So here we are, we're going to open up the case of the PCM. There's six bolts that hold the cover together. Just take those out, remove the top cover, and then inside you'll see the circuit board, and then here's the J3 connector that we're going to we're going to clean. You can see underneath here where it still has the silicone drips from where the PCM was dipped in the silicone. And you want to make sure that we're going to clean both sides. So we're going to start with the back side because that's the easiest to see. And one of the things you can do is with your brass toothbrush, take the wooden end of it and just push against the connector. It's not going to damage it, but you can see all the silicone coming up. And that will scrape off all the big chunks. It does not hurt the board, doesn't hurt the connectors, and if you use the corner you can actually get in between each of the contacts. This is extremely important to not only clean the connector itself, but to get in between the contacts because those uh, any silicone left in there can lift the fingers on the chip. So now that the bulk of the silicone is off, we'll take the other end of the brush and we're just going to scrub. <clears throat> don't, don't be afraid to you know, put some pressure on it. It's not going to hurt the board. It's not going to hurt the contacts at all. It doesn't remove any of the metal because it's brass. It's really soft. Um, the, the contacts are actually tin coated, which is a little bit harder metal. So um, don't have to worry about damaging it at all. And it'll take all that silicone out from not only the surface of the contact, but also in between. So that pretty much has that side. And then we'll turn it over and we'll get the other side. And I do realize the other side's a little trickier because you got the case of the PCM in the way. Um, makes it a little more difficult to get in there. But again, just work back and forth, take your time. And then you can even get in underneath and just you know, brush it out. Now I'll get all the silicone out from in between the contacts. And that should pretty much have it. That should have all the silicone out of there. Then you're going to take your little piece of scotch bright and just lightly buff it. Just a couple of, couple of hits back and forth. And then do the same thing on the other side. Just back and forth a little bit. You don't have to go too much. This is just to basically just remove any glazing off of the surface of the contacts. And that's, and that's it. You know, you can wipe it down with a little bit of alcohol to remove any of the silicone residue that's left on there. But once that's done, you'll see that the contacts are all clean. There's no silicone in between any of each of the contacts. It's clean on both sides. And if you can clean it like that, you're pretty much guaranteed not to have a problem with your chip installation. So once that's complete, just put the PCM back together and install in the truck. Um, when we install the PCM in the truck, the one thing that we do recommend is that when you do have the chip plugged on, that you put a piece of tape or something across the back of it to keep the chip from vibrating. Um, it's, it's a spring contact, but any kind of vibration can cause it to loosen up, and that could create a connection issue. So just make sure that you, you tape across the back of it. And if you do reinstall the black case that goes around the, uh, the computer, do not put the bolts back in the two holes. Um, we do provide a small piece of uh, 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 zip tie that will go in the lower hole and it'll strap the case to the bracket so it doesn't rattle, but it doesn't put any pressure on the back of the chip, which can cause the chip to shift and lose contact. So anything that you can do to avoid putting pressure on the chip would be great. And that's it. That's the installation, uh, the cleaning of the PCM for the Hydra installation. If you do have any questions, please contact us at gopowerhungry.com or you can reach us by phone at 678-890-1110. Thanks for watching.